Welcome gamers back to another Last Leviathan video. My name is Simba Gamer, and there are a few things I would like to let you know. The early access build version 0.2.1 has been released, and it's also released the public beta. Now, I don't want to let you know, gamers, that the public beta has a lot of bugs, and I've spent the last about 30 minutes or so going through, seeing the bugs, and of course reporting them because they had requested that we did that. Um, I'm being a good citizen, you know, and whatnot. I also would like to let you know, gamers, that I'm back, yay, and there are also Halloween blocks. There are new Halloween blocks that we're going to check out today, and we're also going to go check out a new, new map that's been released. Now, at the same time, I got my recording software back up and running. Thank you, uh, Telstream, for <laughs> helping me. Great customer service, 10 out of 10, uh, because I use ScreenFlow, and it helped. So, uh, as you can see, these are what, what the... The new stuff has. They've got Steam achievements now and whatnot. And the new place is called Skull Lagoon. And I guess... Okay, whoops. <laughs> and that's what we're going to be doing now. We're going to be going into the uh, lagoon. I have no idea if I go there directly, but I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully, we do. Okay, gamers. You actually have to go into events to go to the Skull Lagoon. Okay, here we go. We'll, we'll just read. Okay, so we have to battle that. Oof. Uh... Three winners. The best of three winners. Last of Iron Fence wins a winner's t-shirt. Oh, okay. It ends November 20th. Oof, that scared me. All right. Let's select a ship. Okay. Uh, which one's going to be good? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. I think this might go do it. I'm not sure. It might do it. I don't know, gamers. This is the first thing. I'm literally going into this. That's my water bottle. I'm going to this completely blind, and it, it just dropped, so you know, <laughs> I'm quite excited. Uh, it's a little bit late here. I mean, it's 8.30, but whatever. Okay, here we go. Prepare for the battle. Oof, it's tanking. It looks very interesting, though. Very interesting. But I feel like, oh, wait, we ha oh, we have to fight other people? Okay. Well, then, that's a little bit of a problem, ain't it? I didn't know that. And I'm already upside down. Okay, so we completely screwed that up. Yep. That, okay, this this here... This here brings a lot of, uh... Brings a lot of, uh, of bad FPS. So we're gonna have to... Yeah, I, I, I do realize that. So it's quite tanky. It is super, super tanky. I mean, it. I got some pretty low FPS there. But, uh... That's something they still need to fix. It's just a little bit the optimization. I mean, it runs pretty good, the game. Considerably better than Ark, but a little bit of optimization. Okay, let's do a vent again. Whatever that is in the front, one-shots you. Okay, this is, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. That thing there one-shots you, so you cannot go running right into it. Meaning that I've got to use a pretty massive and tanky ship. And I think I might know what ship. It's going to take some time. But I think I might know a good ship for this. Uh, if I can remember what it was. I think I might have removed it. Oh, why did I remove it? Hmm. I don't, I don't really want to go for a very big ship, honestly. It's a lot of missiles. Okay, let's go into the workshop. You're going to see all the things I've downloaded now. But, hey, why not? Okay. <laughs> let's go for the ducky. Um, there we go. Dragon's Teeth. Don't actually no. Let's let's not let's not do dragon's teeth. Let's not do dragon's teeth. I feel like that's a very bad idea. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's just try the razor. Let's just try it. Because I'm I'm honestly quite interested if we can actually do this. I've 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 no idea how lo how long this video is going to be, but it's just going to be me trying to defeat this as many times as possible. Well, not as many times as possible, but. Trying to get this defeated. Okay, so last time I remembered. Okay. Wow, okay. So already. Wow. Okay, so these guys are good. These guys are super good. Oh, so you have to go and defeat all of them in order to win. Wow, that's that's rough. Okay, gamers, this is the first time we've actually, you know, have survived long enough. Uh, I am literally just just moving. I 
I'm just search circling around this ship and praying that you know we're, we're able to uh, to at least survive a little bit longer than what we normally <laughs> how how long we normally last. Yeah, you see, the the thing the thing is just, it's just it's so hard is that they will constantly pummel you. Pummel, 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 pummel. So I think what we might do, gamers, we might go into creative. I'm just going to create a quick little ship. Something tough, sturdy, something that can actually do damage. Uh, and I'll, I'll be back in, in <laughs> a little jiffy, you could say. Since I'm here, gamers, I might as well show you the new thing. Uh, we now have iron bracing. Uh, I guess this here... Yeah, it's, it's practically just like Prestige, where you can brace things... Uh, so that it doesn't quite break. Uh, of course, this is not the ship I made. This is <laughs> this is just a a ship that um that this that I just yeah <laughs> that the developers made. So th these here are the are the bracings, and it practically is just to keep something together. As for movement, we do have some some new sails, and this is th these are these are quite cool. So we have the Halloween sails. Uh, we'll we'll just um. See if we can rotate this. Okay, that's the wrong one. Okay, so we had the pumpkin. Uh, of course, we got all the normal sizes, uh, and then we also have. Uh, I just had a a yellow. There we go. And then we also have this skull, which I find quite interesting, honestly. Besides that, really, there aren't any anything new. I mean, it is simply just just that those are the two new things but i still think that they're a great addition to the game uh, i've yet to really fiddle around fully uh with them and i'm probably doing the creation of a ship that i'm going to probably build maybe use this one and just reinforce it a lot um i think that they're probably going to be super useful uh in the long run but uh, i guess we shall see so my plan right now is just to spread Spread out some cannons, a little bit of everywhere. No particular order, as long as they're spread out evenly. Especially since, due to the fact that the the boss, which is, yeah, it's more or less a boss, is super strong, I think we need to have a super strong ship. Which means a lot of firepower. Like, a lot. I've, I've no idea exactly how much, but I do know that I'm going to be needing a lot to deal some damage. I miscounted. This is probably meant to be moved over. Oops, I probably removed the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. The removing part of this is still a little bit finicky. I still need to quite get used to it. I mean, despite all odds. And after all, I am still, you could say, a new at this game. I'm nowhere near as good as some, some people. I mean, I've seen people create some amazing crafts, and uh, my ones don't even come close. I just use the pre-built ones just to see if I can actually do uh, get the job done. But I guess we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So let's see. I guess now we need need some deck cannons. There we go. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but you know these are a lot of cannons on one side. I don't know if they're too many or too little, but uh, similar to ice cream, you can never have too much of it. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. I just like saying that. <laughs> I'm a silly bitch sometimes. Okay, and I think the good idea is just to throw some mortars on the back, uh, pointing backwards, as they do. Okay. There we go. Some mortars. Uh, actually, let's remove you. Put you down here. It's a bit of an interesting position, but I plan on putting something. Oop, oop, oop. Zoom out. Zoom out a little bit. Putting something back there. Hmm. What though? That's flame. That's a water pump. I guess I can just throw down a, a flamethrower guy just here, just to keep me protected a little bit from the back. And then. Now comes the fun part, is the bracing. Since I've never really done this, I have no idea how to do it. Uh, can we place them here? Okay, so they have to they have to be up here then. Okay, so we're just going to brace the hell out of this stuff. So you hold it down, and then you drag it. It's a little bit finicky. There we go. As you can see, it, it does take some time. But after all, this is 
like I said, this is a beta build. Uh, and all the bugs need to be reported so then they can fix the bugs. Since, yeah, that's kind of what you have to do. <laughs> uh, I think I did the wrong thing. Let's remove that. Oops. There we go. And then I want this to string right across. Uh, okay, so so you can string it like more or less right through the center of anything you want. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly how much I've got to, how well I've got to reinforce. But I'm going all the way. If it works. Okay, so do not, I'm just going to let, let it be like that. Let's hope that's well defended. Now, let's see. We have a lot of armor, or types of armor. My phone just went off. Um, so I guess we can we can use something. Hmm. How and what is the question? I think one thing that will be quite useful is to have some of these stuff just scattered everywhere, uh, especially stuff on the front and the back. So then if, if there is anything, we can, you know, of course, protect ourselves. Since after all, we're going to be fighting against probably the most vicious bow ever. Uh, I've, I've no idea exactly what, uh, how I'm going to do it. But I feel like, oh wait, this is new. The jackhammer is new. Who was I kidding? I, there is a new, there is something new. I've never seen it. Let's see if we can find a spot for it. Okay, so it is literally just a drag hammer. Okay. Okay, I, w I wanted this guy. There we go. Then we need the chain thing. Whatever it's called. Here it is. Uh, chain. No. No. Chain winch. Here it is. And we're going to throw some on the end. One there. And one there. And then I guess we can throw some small ones on. Oh, wow, they're massive. Okay. I thought, you know, the small ones would be small. But apparently they're not. Okay. Here we go. Then we're going to put these back on. Except we're going to put them on a little bit differently. We're going to have them facing outwards this way. It shouldn't really interfere. At least I hope. Weapons. There we go. And then what is the control for these? Arrow up and arrow down. And then alpha 9. I'm just going to call this as the beast. It's not really a beast, but whatever. We can always try. At least enter now works. <laughs> you can press enter now and it works. Okay, so we're going to release these. Like so. I'm going to start this up and press 9. Okay. I mean, like, this thing has a lot of weapons, that's for sure. I mean, like, look at that. Wow. Okay, so I don't think we're going to have that much of a problem. We do have a range. We've got quite a bit of a range. Uh, we don't, we're not that fast, though. And I feel like we need to be faster. So we're going to dock my ship. And we're going to add some propellers to this thing. Because I feel like since this thing... I have no idea what the hell you can call it. Is super powerful. I feel like a great way we can really defend ourselves in any way. Is to go as fast as possible. That's about it. Uh, the faster we go, the like the bigger likely the likelier chance that we'll actually survive. So I'm just gonna throw these on here. Then we're also going to. I saw something that I think would be quite useful. Uh, oh yes, the the defenses. Okay. Power 190. Power 500. This way we can at least protect ourselves. Even if it's a little bit, we can still protect ourselves. Which I find super important in a scenario like this. Make it sound like I know what I'm saying. Trust me, gamers. I do not know what I'm saying. Nor what am I doing. Okay, so we did remove the braces. 
But I think, do you know what? I don't think there's point keeping them right now. Uh, until we figure out how to use them, I don't really think there's much point. Okay, so we're definitely faster. We're about two times faster. Okay, and, w and we, you know, completely wreck. Okay, so there is a possibility that we can survive. And we turn on the dime. Perfect. This is exactly what we needed. This is the ship that's going to save us. Tr this is the moment, gamers. We're going in to the Skull Lagoon. The thing is that the Skull Lagoon has so many ships and whatnot that it's quite laggy. <laughs> Very laggy, actually. Bad FPS. So hopefully, you know, with this sharp ship and whatnot, we should be able to survive, even if it's not for a particularly long time. But we can at least attempt to survive. Okay. Ouch. See, the thing is that with, with the, the rockets that they have, the rockets are like super, super powerful. And once you get in a certain range, he shoots one thing that's like super powerful, I think. Um, so we're going to have to try dodging that. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of trying to find, you know, <laughs> what's happening. Okay. I don't think we... we I, don't, I don't know if we're surviving. Okay, we did... Oh, wow, wait, what? Okay. They tipped us over. How do they do that? We're still alive. Maybe we can ride ourselves? Nope. Okay, we're dead. How the hell do we do this? This is very difficult. I'm gonna try a little bit something a little bit different. I closed my game, removed the public beta, and now we're back, I think, in alpha. I don't know how this is gonna work. Maybe it's gonna work, maybe it's not. But hopefully it does. Because I really would like to know if we can actually take this stuff out. Uh, maybe, I, maybe the beta might, was causing some issues, but I, I have absolutely no idea. So, oh wow, oh wow. It, I think it's running a little bit better, but not by much. Uh, I, I, have, I have actually no idea. Because, uh oh, uh oh, turn, 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 turn. Okay. I know that these towers up here, uh, next to the skull, those things there can do some serious damage. And they have got amazing accuracy. Which I don't know how that's possible, honestly. The FPS right now, I'm getting tanked like all hell. I'm trying to move. I'm trying to. I'm trying to fix my camera. My camera gamers. So then you can see what what's happening. Uh, we we are we are surviving slightly longer than we usually do. So and that's that's nice and whatnot. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a problem. This is a problem. We just got a head-on collision. Oof. Ouch. I think we're about to go out of the arena. Yeah, we're on fire. Okay. Sharp turn. I think just saved us. Oh, we've got half a ship left. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. You know, I, I need to change my settings or something. We did do some damage with him. We, okay, so we did damage him, which is good in, in an aspect. And we lasted a minute, <laughs> which is longer than we ever did before. But hey, whatever. I need to change my settings, gamers, because right now, whoa. Jesus Christ, the FPS. Whew. Okay, gamers. New tactic. I changed my settings around a little bit. I don't know if it's actually going to give me a little bit better FPS. But I'm going to go straight for the big guy. I'm going to try taking out the big guy. Straight on. No no waiting, no nothing. I'm just going to go straight for him. Uh, I'm just going to go right up next to him and then just fire away. Uh, that That is my hope. Uh, as you can see... He's already firing at me quite quite ra quite drastically. Um, and we cannot really stay still, otherwise he will catch us and we're completely screwed. So we have to find a way that keeps us safe, yet at the same time away from a lot of the other bad guys. Okay, here we go. Coming right alongside him. Okay, we did get some hits on that. We got some hits. We got some hits. I repeat, gamers, we did get some hits. Oof, we're right next to the tower right now. And the tower does some serious damage. Why aren't you turning? Why aren't you turning? Why the hell are we going to the wars of land? Ah! Uh, 
this game. Okay. So right now, gamers, it's not quite playable, honestly. To be to be frank with you. Yeah, as you can see, we we just come got completely demolished. I don't think we even like did that much damage to him, if any at all. So right now the game can't really be run. That is for sure. But if you gamers would like to go check this out, I highly recommend it. I mean, <laughs> even like this, it's, it's I'm, I'm probably going to have to do an, another video or so just trying to defeat this. Right now, it's just a kind of a first experience kind of thing. I don't even know if this video is going to go live. Probably is. Don't know. But I'm determined to, to get this. I'm probably just going to keep playing around with this until I have some good footage or something. And then we'll see. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that button. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe. I apologize I haven't uploaded in about the last two weeks. That's because I've been away and I just wanted to actually take a break from YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the very next video. Goodbye. And don't forget gamers to keep on gaming.